thank you doctors for inviting me to your e-conclave on breast cancer. This is one subject which touches a very raw nerve inside my whole being. Because I don't think any family has been immune, only the lucky ones, immune from a, a, a disease called cancer. And as far as the breast cancer is concerned, when I said raw nerve, because I've seen it happen in my own family. And there was nothing wrong with that person. I'll tell you who she was. Nothing wrong. A noble soul, very nutrition food, wealthy, healthy, bright, principled, ethical, very clean environment, a psychologist, worldwide known. And suddenly one day, she sees a lump on her breast. How did she see it? She was eating her food. And the food fell on her, a portion of the breast. It just fell. And she touched it. And she said, there's something hard here. Let me find out what's hard here. And she went for a test. Turned out to be a case of breast cancer. As information traveled within the family, we thought it was limited to this. And uh, this was overseas in UK. And they said, let's remove this. Um, it might be. But the test report reported, she was willing to get it removed. But the test suddenly revealed that it had traveled through the lymph modes and from the lymph modes to her vertebrae. And over a period, from vertebrae, it came to the uh, brains. And she struggled for three to four years. And ultimately, we lost her. She happened to be my younger sister, called Rita Peshavriya Menon, a worldwide known clinical psychologist and a big consultant in National Health Service. Why I'm saying is that few months prior to that, she was with me in Delhi. We were celebrating my 60 years of birthday and she was my twin sister in a way. And we had such great time. She never knew that something is happening right here, a lump. And she's, she was regularly massaging her body, which means her hands never went on her, this part of the body where she could have felt that something's developing. And after she left, we got a call uh, from De uh, London that uh, this is what's happened. Why I'm saying, my friends, is that this, when I asked her what happened, you were, you were very regular in whatever you do. And she says, Didi, she said, Kini, she, she used to have my pet name was Kini for her, especially for her. She says she missed her medical checkup for that year only, just one year. She used to do a regular annual medical checkup. But she missed it that year. I cursed myself, maybe she's traveled to India and she skipped it and maybe she'd had a time she would have gone for an annual checkup. She was so meticulous in all that she did. So everything right, environment right, just one year of skip of the medical checkup. Maybe she'd done it earlier she could have detected it as localized lump and then detected it and surgically and it was possible. It wouldn't have traveled through the lymph nodes from here down to the vertebrae and then behind the brain. What if? Which means the two messages. Once, number one, we do not know what causes these lumps. We do not know. That means so much more research is required. We get all kinds of answers. Avoid this, avoid that. But we don't know what causes these lumps suddenly overnight. We don't know. That means so much more medical research is required to save these precious lives. Two, early detection, which means that when you massage your body after your birth, feel yourself. Feel yourself properly. 
and see that there's nothing developing anywhere and feel your body when you massage your body after your birth. So that means early detection is certainly an early prevention. That's what all the papers are saying. Early detection is early prevention. That's why the mammograms, etc., are being said, early medical checkups. So early. But the physical way of checking is all the way, all your body, you massage if there's any lump developing and certainly your own, own part, this sensitive part of your human body. So early detection is prevention. And then once it's early detected, then in early cure, and then there are methodologies of cure, what kind of treatment comes in, what kind of latest medicines come in. If there are improved medicines, because I know the medicines cause huge amount of side effects. I've seen it all happen on my sister. So therefore, when you invite me for this, first is I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because it reminds me of her. But then you insisted that I do talk. Then I've talked. That it is a painful uh, thing. Therefore, the early detection is the best prevention. But then we also need networking. We need care, a post care of the people who recovered to say how they did it, how well they did it. And we have many good success stories where they got the right treatment, they went into care right early and they recovered. So we need those success stories to be told to such patients, provided it's early recovery, it's early detection, not going through the way my sister's case went through. So I think this is the message I would like to share, that this is preventable, provided we feel ourselves on a daily basis. We love our bodies, we value them and take care of them and not postpone because we have work to do, we have conferences to address, we have relatives to visit. No, health care comes first. Woman's health care comes first. She must love her body, value it, feel it, live it and take care of it. And then go to the care center wherever it's required so that she doesn't have to lose a very precious life and leave us behind, us kind behind, who would always miss her, miss our relatives. So I've not seen the privileged families, many, many families have gone through it like mine has. But I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity and sharing my heart out. I do hope we can minimize the kind of suffering my sister went through. I think almost three to four years because she got the best of the care. And finally, she came to the All India Institute and Dr. Julka was uh, the care provider. So I thought I'd share this with you and to say that um, the, uh, let's feel our bodies every day as a routine and uh, massage ourselves so that we, take, we can detect anything uh, wrong happening. It's preventable, it's also curable, and we got success stories. We just have to be sharp, lucky, and be blessed. Thank you.